Man, so I spent 19 hours of the past two days consumed by Blasphemous 2. Like in the first one when the penitent one shoves his head into that blood-filled helmet. That was me with this game. And I did everything. Every baby found, every figure, rosary bead, 100% map completion. And I loved every second of it. I am taking a break from Metroidvanias for a while now, but enjoy my absolute demolishment of one of my favorite games of the year. This is Blasphemous 2. But first, the gods have a word for you. Forgive me, Lord, for I have sinned. It has been 69 days since I last customized my browser. I humbly come before you now, a man of great sin wishing to be absolved. Please, Opera GX, bless me with your divine feature set and undisputed user customization options. Beautiful. Opera GX, the undisputed god of browsers, has returned once again to humble us all with its great suite of features. Look upon its beauty with reverence befitting of its grandeur, and bow penitently as you bask yourself in the magical sound effects and background music that keep you in high spirits as you browse the internet in style, befitting Opera GX's status as the number one true king of internet browsers. As one of our Lord's new loyal users, you will be graced with the legendary embarrassment of riches. And by riches, I mean mods. With the GX mods, you can take Opera GX's brilliant customization to a place of unparalleled beauty and user friendliness. I'm really enjoying the medieval GX mod for two reasons. Firstly, you get a dragon, all right? And then secondly, listen to this. Now you go ahead and tell me if you've ever been more immersed in the world of fantasy than right after you download Medieval GX mod. To say otherwise would be blasphemy. Blasphemous. Blasphemous 2. We're playing Blasphemous 2. Look, switching browsers can be a pain in the ass, but GX is equipped with an import tool that allows you to quickly import all your settings from your previous browser directly into Opera GX. And if you're more of a performance-focused person, worry not. With GX Control, you can limit the amount of CPU and GPU your browser uses, meaning your penitent one will never be dropping frames. Check out the link in the description below. Sign up to Opera GX today. Thank you for sponsoring me, and now on to Blasphemous 2. Da baby is bad. Each was born to put an end to the other. Now both await. But while yours slumbers, mine remains vigilant. May the miracle bear witness to this oath. By which I remain here for our long-awaited meeting. Wounded by the silence of this secluded existence. <laughs> oh, oh, I had a dream that I thought Dark Souls 2 was the best Souls game. I missed you, penitent one. You pointy head bastard. Oh, baby, look at this. Ooh. We gotta check left. I don't think Blasphemous does the left thing, though. No, it doesn't, damn it. Oh, baby, we get to pick a weapon this time? Alright, we got the mace. We got the daggers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the sword. Look, I'm a sucker for a good sword. We're taking it. I can't believe I was brought back from the dead to be a fucking target dummy. Ah, oh. uh, the save altars. I remember. Ah, uh, sorry, I mean the pre-Jews. My bad, that's not a... This, I gotta say, one hell of a tutorial boss room. Jesus, thank God that wasn't at me. It's your own statue, brother. Oh, it's the dancer of the Boreal Valley. Now it's the faceless one, Chisel of Oblivion. <laughs> if, if I had that name and they put me in the tutorial, I would end it all. I just realized when he does that, he's bleeding out his own hand. Man, I miss the brutality of Blasphemous. I ain't dying to this guy, though. Boo. Tutorial boss, not a problem. Now, Penitent One. I know you're looking at it, but don't fill up your helmet with his blood, I swear to God. He's thinking about it, look at him. 
I actually really dig the new anime style cutscenes. Oh, hello. Holy shit, what do you have there? Is that the lore? I ain't reading all that. I know another guy though. Penitent one, returned from the tomb and walking among the mourners. Your awakening is now written on the eternal page. I just woke up, man. Oros Pina, the confraternity of embroiderers. It's still in the um, Elden Benedicta Ring thing where it's like, here are all the, the bosses you're about to wallop. Endless Orison. Odon. <laughs> of the Odon. Of salt. Man, he is Lesmes sick as hell. Of the confraternity oh. of incorruptible Lesmes? flesh. All under the dictate of the oldest penitent. The first among them all, who was Eviterno, father of the... Is that me from the first game? Oh, she's marking them all on my map too. People are so helpful in this decrepit world. <laughs> this move is called the Weight of Sin. And this move, well that's, that's called Parry. But um, let's go back to the Weight of Sin. Uh, we can do this like this. What? Oh! What the hell are you doing, man? Oh man, there is something up there. Look at that fade in. Come back here with double jump. Yeah, there's one here. Oh good, a, a door I can't open. That's exactly what I wanted. I like this tutorial. You get versus and chance. It's like, yeah, you get a little lightning bolt. Also, you might have a spell that destroys the entire world. Man, this is a strong base spell. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, this tree branch is made of people. Can't open that yet. Oh, we got the classic little babies. One of 33. I don't think I found them all in the first game, but we'll do our darndest. City of the Blessed Name. Did you guys forget the Blessed Name? Is that why it's called this? Shouldn't you just use the Blessed Name? Honey, some guy with a pointy hat just ran into town. He's immediately started jumping on the roofs. Call the Jesus police. The city of the Blessed Name is our main hub town in Blasphemous 2, and it's one you come back to quite often. And it's got plenty of sights to see. It's got the master sculptor Montanez, who's after these sculpting tools to finish his magnum opus hot lady made from wood. He also allows us to change around our figures, which are like these passive buffs. You can hold up to eight of them at a time, but of course, you've only got one slot unlocked in the beginning. There's also the Confessor. His sole purpose is to rid you of guilt, which is a game term for like when you die and your mana bar gets smaller and smaller and he can he can fix it if you die too much. His figure is also the last one I unlocked because it has such like a mysterious way to get it. Don't worry, we'll get there. First time you're here, there's also this traveling merchant who sells his stuff as well as this giant hand I, who is also a vendor. She has a prop from Talk To Me, which I'm saving up my Jesus bucks for. And you can't forget this giant lady who's looking for her sisters. They're hidden around and you can tell they're close because you'll hear whispering. And not the usual whispering you hear when you're alone. Oh, and there's also this even bigger lady, and she upgrades your bile flasks, which are your healing flasks. You do not want to miss what happens to her over the length of the game. I'm not sure if I can even show it. But after this very brief visit, we delve into our first area, the sewers. Alright, let go, Mr. Blasphemous. We gotta go down here. We gotta kill these angel jars. Who gave these jars sentience? They're not even aggro. What a terrible existence. So one disappointing thing with the sequel is that all these executions, they mostly use the same animation. Like in the first game, you'd have these glory kills. You'd like steal their fork, just poke both their eyes out, feed it back to them, and then kick them so hard in the balls they explode. I don't think I can do anything with this bell yet. I gotta find like the bell ringing crucifix of Hephaestus. Oh, there's a baby over there. Uh oh I didn't kill him, man. I don't even have a spear. Well, I guess the spear is still in his body, so... Me not having a spear isn't the greatest evidence. It's like stabbing a guy with a knife, and the cops are like, It was you, we saw you, and you're like, I don't have a knife. Yeah, no kidding, brother, it's in the fucking victim. Who are you? Whose face and name you keep hidden? You can just call me Mr. Blasphemous, Johnny Blasphemous. I must leave at once. It's all good. We just met. You don't owe me anything. You don't have to stick around. Thank 
weapon memories? Man, if a real weapons had memories, the fucking little gun snitching on you for shooting grandma. <laughs> Look how sick that blade art is, man. The Rigo Alaba. Holy shit. I'm sorry, I broke it immediately. That's all good. I don't have, I'm, I'm in between houses right now. Moving to the city of the blessed name. The rent is astronomical. Oh, we can hook onto the walls now. Man, thank God that wasn't like a new weapon or anything, because I'd be stuck down here forever. Oh, is this a rosary bead? Yeah, 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 I remember those from the first game. Hey, Jonathan the second, check out these sculptures I made on the wall. Oh, that's great, man. Watch out. They throw fucking boulders. Ah! Sometimes I just come out here to think, you know? Just some peace and quiet. Sea of ink. It's a dead end for sure. I have to go kill Jesus the Unforgiven and unlock water walking or something. A pink item? I've never seen one of these before. It was nothing. It was yeah, a trap! Get him, boys. Yeah, we yeah, we teleport teleport out. Out. Bunch of jerks! Oh jeez. Thanks for the empty receptacle. Thank you. Hey mate. I found this little gavel for you to use. This mallet is so wonderfully balanced in the hand. That it feels quite effortless to move. Yeah, I know, man. I found it. So I went up on the rooftops instead and ended up here. I think I'm in the wrong place. Also, this guy looks like one of the monsters from Space Jam. And you can't tell me otherwise. Merciful steps. My golden mask weeps to see you before me. Mm, you were weeping before I got here. Don't lie to me. This is where I bring the babies. Help us by freeing more brothers. Yeah, I only found two so far. I'm so sorry. What the tower holds at its highest. Oh, now I have to do it. Just appreciating this shot. I'm taking a video for my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, if you, if you, I don't know if you're interested. Oh, hey, brother, you gotta get me out of this tube, man. <laughs> I don't know how I got in here. Hey, come back, you. Yo, we get the mace as well. Your mum lets you have two weapons? Possible secret? No. Okay, so I gotta show some failures. If I only show all the secrets I hit, people are like, you cheating? Brother, the game just came out, how can I cheat? Alright, let's get you out of there, shall we? <laughs> Jesus, man, who's been in here? Jigsaw? Looks like Saw 5 in here. As a little reference, gotta get my Saw, failure, saw reference for the fans out. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, we're taking the sand elevator up. That's good. I'll tell you what, it's a lot less fun when you're taking it down. <laughs> oh shit, the hand portal? Man, that is that is so sick. Oh, it's just a fast travel system. Man, that, that seemed a lot more scarier than it was. What have I walked into? Sleep, what is this? My child. Sleep. A lot of those hands aren't accounted for, ma'am. No answer. Jesus, what the hell was this? Here? I'm gonna mark this on my map with a question mark. Look, whatever you guys are protesting, go off, man. I agree with you. There's probably some really messed up stuff in this. Really? You're gonna hit me with a Super Mario Bros. move? How embarrassing. Stop blocking! Coward! Whoop! No! <laughs> Man, I've seen these mirrors everywhere. I have no idea what to do with them yet. Oh, that's a secret for sure. Hey, sister. You're very welcome. You see, why are you trapped if you can teleport, man? Sheesh. Looks like the intro to Django Unchained out here. I don't know, you can just say hello. Alright, here's a coin. Take me wherever, sir. Where am I? You brought me back here? Oh no, this is on the other side of the wall. 
I refuse to fight these guys. They're too. <laughs> they're way too tanky. The chime of the twisted one. What is that? Oh, a spell? Invoke the ghostly bell, the chime of which causes mystical damage. We'll give it a shot. Hang on a second. I gotta check the wall. Oi! <laughs> what is this? What does this mean? I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know what my body's doing. I didn't die or anything. Why doesn't this one break though? I'm so glad that this unbreakable bell stayed in my mind because there's a secret puzzle later on. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get to it when we get there. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to just electric slide in here. Did someone die? Light of the candles. Find your daughters. Sure, say less. And for your thirst, I am water. For your co- Oh, make way for he who does not yet know me. Who has not yet kissed me. I'm, <laughs> I'm good, man. I don't want to kiss a giant hand. No, I ain't kneeling. No. Yourself before me. Stop. Stop asking. This way, when your body is okay, now you're pissing me off. Okay, so I have an achievement for killing every enemy in the game, and I'm missing one. And I think it might be these hands, which, once you drain out all the sands, they don't come back. So that's 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 great. My brain has forgotten how to deal with these fuckers. Don't duck. What are you ducking for, in your mouth? You, you're a moron. You're an absolute moron. Ah! Hey, you little baby fucker! Don't write that down. Do you wish me to join you? There, you shall find me, and in communion, we shall fight. Billowing clouds of dust herald your arrival. Okay. Oh, shit! It's a skeleton with skeletons on a stick with a skeleton backpack. What's this here? This has to be here for a reason? For that move? Oh, no, no, that move. That, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Ha ha! That shit travels up the wall? Your glass goes up the fucking wall and I have to repent for my sins? This is a really cool boss fight, though. We're still early. This is the... By the way, this is the Great Preceptor uh, Radamaeus. Radamus. I'm leaving my corpse there because when you pick up your corpse, you actually heal. So it's like a free healing. Now, yeah, this is... This is easy shit. We, do, we can do this. Uh-oh. Uh ho! Ho ho ho! Hey, 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 hey! Nice. Hell yeah, brother. Oh my god, the death animation. Oh, good god. Our lady has been degloved. Something tells me this is going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Oh, All right, welcome to the Palace of Embroider Embroideries. Don't fucking throw a Beyblade chandelier at me. What are you? What, are you, what even are you? Get that shit out of here. Oh, there's going to be... There's going to be spiders or something. You guys were hiding in human-shaped cobwebs? Okay, whatever. You go, you have fun. Oh, we're getting our daggers. What ability do we get from the daggers? God knows I'm not using them as an actual weapon. We can go through mirrors now. Look at that. Also, I didn't die here. That must have been a bug or something. What the hell? I didn't even see a baby there. I just, I just love attacking when I'm jumping. And you may die, perhaps even rot away before my very eyes, but that will not help you. Grandma, I want to go back to home to mum now, please. Sit down, sit 
Da, welcome to this humble table. My name is Castula. For well, that was what my parents so desired. Oh, well, my name's Liam, because that's that's what my parents desire. That's how names work. <sighs> Dropped a web on him. I don't think there's going to be a spider boss, though. None of those bosses in the intro were spiders. There's just been a lot of web. Welcome to... I wasn't... How silent. Oh, ho, ho. How she's cool as hell. Dance now with my steel, penitent one. We will embroider your flesh in sacred torment. In a tapestry of blood and gold. I can't see you. She's behind me, isn't she? Last Guardian. Yeah, no one should find that game. What a piece of god. Oh! I like to give the bells a couple of rings, you know, some room for error. Gives me a little wiggling room. Let's go find what's in the secret. Oh, the perforated liar's tongue. That's where I keep mine too. Oh, that, that baby's not even hidden. Oh, I guess it is if you look at it from this perspective. Mr. Blasphemous is a short king. I didn't unlock anything. Have I been able to do this the whole time? I can get through those uh, tree branch human doors now. Look, man, I'll take it. But I'm not 14 years old raiding Molten Core anymore, so... I don't think I'm going to use fire-resistant gear. Sup, fucker? Me too. He's a little head in there. Alright, third guardian. Let's do this. First we figure out what he does. Ah! Hey, not this time, bitch. This was way too easy. Like, okay, yeah, then no, no, it's a phase two. Sleeping in Funta! <laughs> okay, this is still kind of easy, but... I could... Both at the same time? Alright, now, fair enough, fair enough. I'm an idiot! Ah. Ah. I hate you. Alright, we're killing the big boy first. And then we'll murder the baby. Okay, good, 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 good. We got this now. This guy's a little joker. <laughs> Jeffrey, I'll see you on the other side, brother. This shit was way too heavy. What were we thinking? Secret, you reckon? <laughs> okay, so that secret room we find a while back um, has the blasphemous symbol over the walls and it was lit up. I don't know when that happened, but there was one at the start here that you can light up as well. With the bell ability that you found in that room. I don't know how many there are, how many I've missed. I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna try and keep an eye out for them, but if we miss them, we miss them, man. Man, look at this sword bullshit. You don't just drop swords and lay land like that. Someone set this shit up. Who was it, huh? Do you wish me to join you? There you shall find me.
man, that shit was rough. That was the first time I actually felt challenged in Blasphemous 2 so far. Ooh, man. Release the five doves. Yo, we got double jump. Hey, man. I'm not the enemy here. Let's go find the guy that put your head in this store, shall we? Oh, no. Why does he get a custom kill? I think the challenge rooms have been harder than the bosses so far. It's brutal. There's more! What the fuck? I've never even seen this guy before! Oh. Man, look at this guy. He wants to be him so bad. This is not a good place to sleep, lady. Oh, it could be. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's cozy. Oh. I blew out her candle and she fucking disappeared. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Whatever, man. Okay, so I'm editing. Uh, I didn't realize at the time, but there's a symbol right here. Uh, that's for the bell secret. I get it later, don't worry. Here's how our map completion is coming along. 58%. 15 babies found. Not bad. All right, we're gonna free these five doves, which I'm assuming each dove is just gonna be a boss. I know. Genius. How do I... How'd my brain get this big? I don't know, man. Born this way. Or a tumor. Okay, so those girls in the beds with the candles. We save them. We come back here. We have to do a challenge room for each one we save. I didn't ask why. I should have asked why, but that didn't seem important at the time. She's also a big scary lady, so... 17,500 Jesus bucks! Brother! Until up. I'm your only customer. You really want to lose me? Oh, there's a ghost bridge now. We're taking the ghost bridge. Oh, baby, a new power up. Unlocking new powers in this game, incredibly fulfilling. Because there's, there's so many, like, roadblocks around that I left behind. I've been marking them all on my map. Thank God I've been doing that, because I would have forgot all of them. Good night, ma'am. Hey. This is just fistula from Isaac. Okay, this is a cursed elevator. For sure. How many hot dogs you guys reckon you can eat in one go? I don't have like a special hot dog eating ability. Just like a, it's a general knowledge kind of thing I wanna, I wanna know. This, this, this boss's music is kind of banging. It's about, about a suspicious, suspicious looking helmet. What the hell? If you can do that, why don't you just drop my dead ass down this one? Yeah, skill diff. You should have just broke both elevators. I would have plummeted to my death. You suck. As another dove, baby. Oh, we've seen this place. That looks like the Sea of Ink. Was that in the background last time? I do not remember. Holy shit, this is one heck of a jump. You go out for groceries. I mean, the whole city was underwater like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> You're not a boss fight. You're one of the bosses from the start. You're the cool one. I forgot your name, but this doesn't this doesn't feel like a, a real boss fight right now. This is like a, a taste. So this is like the blasphemous she told you not to worry about. Man, she is munted. I don't know how much more of that I can show. I bought a wax seed. I don't know why I did that. Shit was expensive. I thought it was going to be useful. This seems a little more bossy. Oh, I see him up in the tower. That is so sick. Oh, I like that. Odon. He didn't say a fucking word. He just started fighting. Anyone out there know Kingdom Death Monster? I feel like Mr. Blasphemous would fit right in. Ah! Man, I one-shot that guy. He was, he was, he was one of the easiest ones so far. Compass of the Stranded. 
Why would I want his compass? Stop. This sacred place is about to crumble around our very ears. And I have barely strength enough to support the entrance to our chapel. Man, this guy's sculpture is looking good. I have some sap for you, brother. While we stand here and embrace the beauty that is this darkness, I'd just like to remind you that we have a Discord server. Discord.gg slash mousecult. Come join. Or not. Oh, come on, lady. I was gone for like a second. The end for which I have long yearned. <laughs> Oh come. no. Okay, we put her face on that statue. So she's just a statue now. So that's good. Oh, we're at the building in the background of that sick shot. So I got something for you. Holy oil. Oil of the... Oh no. Is it going to be soul of the depressed painter? Where is he? How am I going to change my figures? Oh. Penitent one. May the miracle watcheth out. My name is Venerada. Oh, we got his daughter! <laughs> oh, good. It's human Jabba the Hutt. That's exactly what I want to fight. Oh, baby, I've been waiting for this upgrade. I've been seeing these little sparkly flies everywhere. I think I've marked most of them on my map, so we should be good. Oh! I'm backtracking, getting all the secrets with this new power. And I saw the symbol up here. So we gotta ring the ring the bell on the bell. Look at that. This is looking like our fourth dove. <laughs> what? Oh he doesn't say anything either, okay. Ah there's nothing I could have done. Eat shit, old guy from Game of Thrones. Alright, different masks, different powers. This is the bullet hell mask. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! I don't know what this mask is. It's like gold melty mask. Oh, okay. I think we just have to kill him here. I think this is ending. Ooh. One dub to go, baby. So I've fully upgraded all my health stuff, and she has gone full skeleton. If we invert her, she'd look like Matt McMuscles. Oh yeah, no, that's my bad. My foot was hit by a beanbag. We have fully upgraded the sword. The mace is getting there. The daggers we don't need to look at. Another baby. 20 out of 33. Five more. Piss off whatever that is. Penitent one. We approach our meeting with the lady. My spear is not ready. It needs one last blessing. I need your help to find the holy oil. Oh, you want that, oil. man. Here you go. I was going to give it to that sham sculptor. Gee. Will you join me? In this final confrontation, at last. Okay, so I found the guy who wanted the wax seeds. I believe this is the final one, but I said that about the last one, and I'll cut that out. Yeah, we did it. I have to cut. I have to blur that or something. But you can, you have an imagination. You can piece that together. Oh no, he's gone. Nothing left but a wax-soaked baby. This is seeming like the, the final dove. Remember in Home Alone 2 when um, the homeless lady on Christmas, Kevin McAllister, goes out and gives her a, a plastic turtle dove? She probably hasn't eaten for three days straight, but yeah, thanks for the turtle dove. Alright, I'm just waiting for one boss to like just kick my ass, you know? It's been relatively easy so far. I don't remember the first Blasphemous difficulty. But it seemed harder than this. That is that is so cool. You gotta watch out for those babies though. They'll they'll skin you. Oh, oh. Svasona famosa frembra. 
I'm expecting a phase two because she is taking some damage. Okay, she's kind of <laughs> she's kind of turboing me down there. Okay, there's got to be more though. No, man, that was my first attempt. What a loser. The final dove, give it me. Penitent one, before continuing on your journey, first take this as a sign of our blessed bond. All right, we found all the sisters. If you're gonna play this game, get these. All right, they are so useful. Uh, they allow you to teleport between the shrines. So do it as soon as possible. Okay, this is an easy one. The spider web? Oh, come on, man. I had to look this one up. There ain't no way I would have seen that shit. I knew something was off about this tree. I didn't realize there was a symbol in it. Yeah, if you're playing on the Switch, you ain't seeing that one. <laughs> okay, this final one, I get, oh, this is another one I had to look up. Knowing it's there, I didn't even see it. We did it. And now we go back to the cave for our reward, baby! We have achieved the ultimate number of babies. Which in my case would have been zero, but we got all 33. What do we get? Marks, that's always good. Upgrade my weapons. A giant rattle. What do you mean by that? Oh, there's more. There's more hidden. Gregor? Before we hit the final boss, there's one more secret we have to do. We have to duck in front of this mirror for a little while. Unlocking our first sealed envelope. And the contents of the letter gives us another hint. We're looking for a sacred place with a great pit that lays before me, over which I stood until a sudden breeze. We head back to the city of the blessed name and maybe stand on the edge right here in front of this great pit. Unlocking yet another sealed envelope. So this one was pretty easy. This passage stood out to me immediately. I stumbled across an old bell lying broken on the ground. Remember that bell that didn't break? That's where we're headed, baby. Now this time, the bell still doesn't break, but hitting it opens up the wall behind it, giving us another sealed envelope. Now I don't know what the hell any of this meant, but there's one part that does stand out. It's, if once thou hast passed beneath its skull. And the only skull I remember was the one on top of this vendor, so that was it, that did it. A final clue literally just tells us to go jump off a cliff, so that's what we did. We go to this the peaceful place there where we think about life and we just jump off. Solving the riddle completely. Unlocking all the prayers. And getting another sneaky achievement in the process. Alright, enough shenanigans. It's time for the final boss! Dress my body in wounds. Lacerate the tattered parchment that clothes my flesh. For I am the first penitent. And you shall be the last.
and that was that was easily the toughest fight so far. Oh man! Die, yo, bitch! Oh no, there's another fight, isn't there? <laughs> no, no, no! It can't... It can't be as hard as that one. It has to be easier. What the hell, man? Oh... Easy dodging. Oh yeah, 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 do that again. That's, that's fine. Lasers? Oh, brother, come on. Unless there's like a, a secret phase two, this isn't nearly as bad as the um the sword man. He was just ruthless. All right, it's all come down to this. Will there be a phase two? Yeah, just burn me. I don't care. No. No. I got the. See you, brother. <laughs> now I understand, and for this, I offer thee my humble thanks. This pain is my baptismal sacrament that will unite us in communion to make it flesh. Thus, we will be reborn as a new symbol incarnate, overflowing with devotion. The beginning of a new era for no! the miracle. The second sun. Ending B. All right. Before we end the video, uh, use the word blasphemy in your comment. That that way, I know you're a real one. You got to this point in the video, and that's impressive. But here is ending A. So basically to get ending A, uh, naturally I, I looked it up because there, there would be no way I figured this shit out. You have to have these four figures in this um, this configuration here in your uh, altar piece. They turn golden and then you go up to this uh, fire room, which I had no idea what, what, what you had to do in there. And you get the incense of the envoys and then having that in your inventory and then killing the, the final final boss again unlocks this The ending. devotion of the many was made incarnate and suffered pain. The affliction cometh to an end, for the icon falls, and with it, the miracle's designs and its will so capricious. And so you shall ascend, both in body and soul, through dreamed kingdoms to the holiest of places, to the cradle of all blessings, safe under our watchful eyes. And once there, you will be captured within the ancient canvas of light and time. The penitence is thus complete.